Hey YouTube, it's Justin Kabelka. I want to show you guys a ovulation. I haven't done an ovulation video yet. And this is girl is a spider female who's just going into ovulation. I'll let you check her out here. You see here, the, the ovulation is, is the point in which the follicles enter the oviduct and they're fertilized. The, all the breeding that goes on in the season is just collecting sperm, waiting for this moment, the moment of ovulation. And you see what happens here is ovulation, you get a swell, we call it a mid-body swell, from about to there to there, she gets really fat, and it'll last about 24 hours, and actually she hasn't hit the peak of it yet, she's going to get, you know, probably 20% actually fatter than this before it's all said and done. And, and then it'll last about 24 hours and she'll go thin again, and you'll know that ovulation has occurred. Ovulation is a great way to, to really know where you're at with your breeding projects. Once your snake is ovulated, you're guaranteed to get something from her. You'll either get slugs or you'll get eggs, depending on um, whether or not they're fertilized properly and a lot of other factors. But you're going to get something out of her once she's ovulated. She can't reabsorb eggs once they're fertilized. And the other thing this allows you to do is when you see that ovulation, if you catch it within the 24 hours and you notice it, then you can start counting your days until they lay. Um, it's called the, the POS, post-ovulation shed or post-oviposition shed. And 20 days after you notice ovulation, you can expect them to shed out. They'll go into a shed cycle about 17, you know, 15 to 17 days after ovulation. They'll shed out about 20 days after ovulation. And from the moment they shed, that POS, that post-ovulation shed, you're gonna count 30 days until they lay. Now that's just an approximate. I've had them lay as early as 22 days or as late as 40 days, but approximately 30 days from the shed, um, they're going to lay. So 50 days total from ovulation. I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't, I don't confuse you there. But 50 days from now until she lays her eggs, essentially. She's bred by a pastel yellow belly, and so this will make bumble bellies. If I hit the odds, there's one in eight is the odds. And seeing her size, I'll probably get six, seven eggs out of her and uh, have a decent shot at the bumble belly with a little bit of luck. So hope you've enjoyed it, and let me know if you have any questions about ovulation. Okay, here we are about eight hours after I made the ovulation video for this spider female, and I told you that she'd get about 20% larger. And you see here she has uh, developed quite a bit further, and she's into her ovulation here. How you can tell exactly how swollen she is here. I'm just a good angle on her. So she's yet had a, a big meal, even though she hasn't eaten for about two and a half months now. Let's see, we're going to lift her up real gently here. They don't want to be messed with too much while they're ovulating. You see the swell there. And she is nice and hard here. Hard as a rock. All those follicles are moving through the oviduct. I'll go ahead and wrap this up. I wanted you guys to see how much she, she has swollen here in the last few hours. And I hope you've enjoyed it.